When Google announced the Pixel 3 just two weeks ago, Night Sight was one of the biggest highlights of the show. Alas, it isn't available at launch, and while Google hasn't given an exact ETA for when the feature will be fully available, the good folks over at XDA have procured a beta update for the Google camera software that enables this new mode not just on the Pixel 2 and 3, but also on the original Pixel 1, which lacks the Pixel Visual Core processor that both the Pixel 2 and 3 have. That's a lot of pixels. This is particularly important because it means that we're very likely going to see this feature in future Google Camera ports to other phones, which are of course unofficial, but work some incredible magic on those phones thanks to Google's simply amazing algorithms and machine learning driven backend coding. Now, this is not a review, and that's because it's not final software, but what we're seeing here is simply incredible, and it shows that when Google nails software, it really shoots for the moon. Night Sight is performed in a similar way to the night mode that Huawei introduced earlier this year with the P20 series. This one uses about a 6 second exposure window to take multiple shots and then stitch them together, resulting in enhanced low light performance as well as better low light detail than a single freehand long exposure shot could ever achieve. It makes perfect sense that Google would do this since they pioneered the HDR Plus method so many years ago on the Nexus 5, which more or less, already performed a similar algorithm, just without the exposure length and with fewer overall frames taken. When the camera detects that a scene is too dark for a good result from the auto mode, it pops up a message letting you know that the night mode might be a better idea. Night sight is found in the more section of the camera software and even changes the shutter button to a little quarter moon icon and hides the mode selection carousel to remind users that they're in this special mode. Taking a shot pops up a message warning to stay still and that the software is collecting light. From the looks of things, an initial capture is taken as it appears in the gallery preview on the side of the viewfinder and then continues to take additional captures and longer exposures to enhance the image, increasing detail and light, all while reducing noise since it's adding in additional pixels for the HDR Plus algorithm to work with. It's absolute brilliance and it shows in the execution. Comparison shots between the auto and night side modes are literal night and day. And once again, it's mind blowing what Google can do with a single sensor. When comparing the Pixel 3 to the Huawei P20 Pro, you'll notice a huge dichotomy between auto modes between the sensors, and that's because Huawei uses that monochrome sensor with huge pixels to take in double the light at the same time the main sensor captures a frame. Color data loss is pretty significant though. And while Huawei's night mode helps keep colors better with a longer exposure of the RGB main sensor, Google's algorithm works better in most cases because it's all RGB and doesn't have to blend a monochrome image with a color one like Huawei does. We'll see if Huawei's dual RGB sensors and the Mate 20 make a difference here, but Google's software genius with a single RGB camera reigns supreme in the color accuracy department. There are times where Huawei is able to pull out quite a bit more detail, but it seems the majority of time the overall image from the Google cameras are just better in general. It's not even just available light or color accuracy that's so impressive either, it's the overall balance of shadow and highlight detail, something that's especially obvious when there are bright single light sources like a street light. Fine detail is a toss up between the two depending on the scene, but what's also impressive is seeing the Pixel 1 keep up the way it does, and it shows the importance that both hardware and software play. While the Pixel 1 doesn't have the super fast and accurate dual pixel focus mechanism of the Google Pixel 3, it's got some huge pixels on that sensor itself and that translates into the ability to take fantastic low light shots of this new mode, all with a simple software upgrade. I didn't even need to steady my hand in any of these shots, everything is 100% freehand, and that's impressive for either Google or Huawei's methods. Google seems to be much more forgiving for handshake though, as Huawei tends to introduce a slight bit of blur when the exposures are a bit longer. Much like other things in the Pixel line though, Night Sight doesn't feature any real options, just click and wait till it's done. While Huawei gives options for shutter and ISO adjustments in the software, allowing for some really awesome shots to be achieved if you can stabilize the phone against something. It's Google's auto mode that's so impressive though, and with these kinds of results, more people will use Google's Night Sight mode and probably achieve better results, 
and it makes us pine for a Google that would develop this tech to benefit all Android phones, not just its own line of Pixel branded devices. Thank goodness this stuff can be ported, and we can't wait to see how well it works on other phones. Enjoyed that comparison? Check out our Pixel 3 phone review and the separate camera review here on YouTube to see how the rest of the experience fared, and don't forget to check out AndroidHeadlines.com for 24-7 worldwide tech news coverage. Do us a favor and please click on that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and we always appreciate feedback from our viewers, so be sure to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching, and until next time.